Hi and welcome back to my film and TV channel with, well, it's October. It's time for all these supernatural horror films to be coming out, isn't it? So there's a number of reviews this month. So this is the latest one that's showing on Amazon Prime. As at the 7th of October, this review was done on the 6th of October. So all scores and comments are as at that date. We're going to have a look at My Best Friend's Exorcism. Yes, we're going to have a look at that today. Please, if you're new to the channel, I try and inform and entertain. If I can, please push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. All these blogs are coming out. All your comments are very welcome, of course. Uh, on this film or anything else or anything else you want to talk about absolutely no problem with me and to make an old film watch you very happy all thumbs ups are much appreciated as well so it's just like if you're on twitter or youtube you know it's nice to get thumbs up and likes isn't it but uh, it, it does so if you can just push that little button that'd be absolutely brilliant yes my best friend's exorcism a supernatural comedy horror a uh, comedy uh, yeah it was okay in parts yeah a bit bit daft bit daft comedy but it was okay it's not my demographic obviously it's, it's aimed at a, a younger audience but it wasn't a total disaster i've seen i've seen worse comedy horror films put it that way uh, uh bigger budget ones as well Directed by Damon Thomas from a screenplay by Jenna Lamia, based on the 2016 novel of the same name by Grady Hendrix. It stars Elsie Fisher, Amia Miller, Rachel Getchy, Canu, and Kathy Ang. And the public, what are they thinking? Well, as at the 6th of October 2022, the Rock Tomato audience, not overly impressed. 41% positivity, so less than half the people are saying it's okay. And it just averages 2.8 out of 5. So that's 5.6 out of 10. So a little bit below the 6 out of 10 I like to see. And not a lot different on Internet Movie Database. It's showing us 5.4 out of 10 with a 51% positivity. And if you delve deeper into the figures, it's almost 50-50. 840 people scored it between 6 and 9. And 807 people scored it between 2 and 5. I ignore the 1 out of 10s and 10 out of 10s. But more or less in line with what it's saying. It was released on Prime Video on September the 30th, 2022. What about the critics? Are they any better with it? Well, very similar. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes critics, 51% positivity with 35 critics. An average rating of 5.7 out of 10. So it's all hovering between the 5.5 and the 6, isn't it? And it's got 18 fresh, which is okay, and 17 rotten. So again, all split down the middle. Metascore, 58% positivity. 12, 12 reviewers on there scored at anywhere between 30, 30 and 100 out of 100. Yes, yeah, someone, <coughs> excuse me, someone was happy with this anyway, that's for sure. So let's have a look at some of the, let's name and shame or name and blame some of the critics. Not all negative. Kath Clark from The Guardian said, this could perhaps do with one or two genuine scares. Yeah, more, more fun than scares, yeah. Uh, but for anyone old enough to remember Tiffany, and advice columns in Teenage Girls magazines. This is going to deliver a pleasing shot of nostalgia, Tiffany. I have no idea what she's on about there, Tiffany. No, sorry. Clarice Luffrey. I love Clarice. I think it's just the name. I just love Clarice. Independent in, here in the Independent in the UK. It's a devilishly smart and self-aware take on the current trend for 80s horror homage. It is, obviously, it's set, back, it's set back in the day. This is not in, not in 2020s. Lovingly adapted from Grady Hendrix's 2016 novel of the same name. So I think Clarice liked it. Yeah, in, in all fairness, although it doesn't blow you away, we know what, what rubbish is brought out at this time of year, and it could well end up one of the better Halloween efforts this year, despite all right, not the greatest score so far. David Ilrich from IndieWire said, There are flashes of a much better movie throughout My Best Friend's Exorcism. Yeah. Can't disagree with that, but the one we get just isn't self possessed enough to hold on to them for long. Yeah, I, th I think the market demographic might be okay with it. So, a lot of people who have not been around the block, let's say, might appreciate it a little bit more. Courtney Howard from Variety said, With very little interest conjured from the filmmakers to properly develop their characters, there's little incentive to stay interested. Good point. I didn't really care about the girls in this, uh, in fairness, so it's a good point from Courtney. Uh, Pace Magazine's Andrew Crump. Crump, that's a good name. Ostensibly, this is a movie about best friends and the exorcism that comes between them. Oh, in the second part of the title lands. Okay. Los Angeles Times' Noel Murray. At its best and its sharpest, this film is less about supernatural monsters than about the common fear of drifting apart from the people you love. You know, I, I don't think, I don't think, 
is there a moral in here somewhere? There probably is, but I say I just want your film to be entertained. I'm not bothered about being told morals of stories, etc. We can make our own minds up on that one. So that brings me to me. That brings me to my score. I'm gonna get yeah. It'd be very tempting to go against the trend and say yeah, this is watchable. This, but I will give it a score, which means it is okay. It is. Mm. It's all right. And as I said, given given the sort of substance of what we usually get at this time of year with these sort of supernatural horror sort of things, it's okay. So I've just given it the very lowest mark I can give it without it being a total write-off, and that's five out of ten. As I said, there will be much worse than this around this Halloween season. I think it'll be a lot better for the demographic I think it's aiming for, which is a younger audience. I don't think it's that interesting for old farts like me, in fairness. So, obviously, as I say, a younger teen audience who perhaps have not been round the block, as I said earlier, would probably appreciate this more. Because some of the comedies are all right. It made me smile at times, so it wasn't a total disaster. And I think the, the young cast was very good as well. As you know, me and younger actors, I'm not always overly impressed. So, yeah, I'll give it a five out of ten, which is okay. But I'm not going to differ much to what people are thinking. It's been scored 5, 5.5. Didn't quite reach the 6 out of 10. And I think that's fair enough. Anyway, if you get to watch this, guys, let me know what you think. I wouldn't say don't watch it. But uh, if there's nothing else on, you want to watch something in an afternoon. And, and you're a young person, you know, young at heart, let's say. Uh, then yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Please, thanks for watching. Till we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.